How's it going folks? Today we got the Pioneer P40. Uh, I've done all kinds of weird and wonderful things, uh, including uh, we uh, dunked it in an ultrasonic cleaner there uh, and uh, it didn't seem to go, but uh, I'm going to take it apart now and put a brand new gasket on it and blow all the, the hell out of it clean. Um, it's got brand new fuel lines on it, I already did that. It was the first thing I did because those were pretty rotten, so my guess is there's probably some sort of gunk on from the old rotten fuel lines that's inside the car. Uh, because uh, after the ultrasonic clean it started sucking fuel but it wasn't running off the tank. So this is just an Amazon uh, generic carb kit for these Tillotsons uh, and oh, hopefully it lines up. We'll find out anyways and uh, we'll get back to you and see if we can get it running. First matter of business is uh, removing the carburetor which is just a couple of screws. And then you just kind of disassemble and blow everything clean and put it back together as it were. Uh, and then uh, your general uh, standard carb settings are, uh, I think, one and a quarter turn on most things uh, for both high and low. Uh, some of them have a, a different one where it's like a half turn on the uh, high, but you just kind of fiddle with them after you're uh, done just to get them to where they're to. But at any rate, I'll get that after, or get after that and get that done. So, I've got her apart and it smells like varnish and, you know, it's just really, like, gelled up in there. And that's all that's going on here. And this, this is, it's not too really bad. Like, you could salvage it if you really needed to. Um, but you can see here, like, it was really, really gummed and yucky. So, I'm going to get this cleaned up back together. One thing I'll add is when you're cleaning out your jet screws, what I personally like to do is just a, kind of a one at a time kind of sequence. That way you don't mix them up. Otherwise, if you do take them both out, you can put one below the other and uh, just kind of set them aside somewhere so you know which is which, which is high and which is low. Okay, just uh, not how to, but it's a suggestion. Just try and keep track of that because sometimes they are different. Most times they are different. Another little suggestion is get yourself one of those little brass wheels for your Dremel because that's a handy way to get that old... Uh, gasket debris off of there so you can put your new one on um, but do make sure you clean it all out again before you do all that after you've uh, run the, the wire wheel uh, but at any rate yeah that's just another suggestion and the brass one's good because it's soft and it's not going to scrap or scratch the uh, the metal so onward I go uh, another uh, little um, safety tip there is if you're not wearing your safety glasses what you do is you get yourself into a real good squint like Clint Eastwood in a summer's day you know out in the desert on an old cowboy western movie and they call that a safety squint and you're pretty good with that you know I've gotten by with it for at least 30 years anyways uh, moving on okay we're all back together let's see if she'll go I'll give her a quick prime just to try to save my arm a little bit chain on this one. I don't know that I like the little 16. Oh wow! Can you ever see the oilers working on this sucker? That's good news. Um, but yeah, we'll get this all outfitted and we'll start using this. Nice. Glad to see you running. Well, till next time. Take her easy. Be safe. Sorry for how dark it is. Kind of took a little bit longer to clean that car than I thought. Anyways, uh, by the way, I mentioned an ultrasonic cleaner, and that's my buddy that helps me out, and he's a good guy, so go check out his channel, I'll put a link to that in the description. Till next time, be safe, take care.